This psychedelic looking edition of the Rither Report is brought to you by Freekeen.com. I have a bunch of different hard news stuff to throw at you. I've got a lot of video, but basically I just wanted to get the details out to you while I'm in the process of getting the videos ready. Uh, first, uh, activist Kurt Hoffman of Keene, jailed activist Kurt Hoffman of Keene, has announced he's starting a hunger strike on November 6th. Uh, and um, he was jailed for 180 days uh, for uh, essentially interrupting a judge. He had a hearing this morning, uh, November 5th, and uh, the hearing was to determine whether he could be let out early from his 180-day sentence. Well, uh, the motion to let him out was denied, so he will not be getting out, at least not immediately. His wife has announced, however, she's going to file another motion tomorrow, and they're going to keep trying at it until they can get him out. Uh, she's also reporting that the judge uh, apparently didn't let him out because he wasn't contrite enough uh, regarding his behavior toward the court. Other news today to report in Keene, and there is quite a bit, <laughs> the, um, I guess, three or four city councilors in Keene are uh, declining to take a position with regard to the uh, theft of Ian Freeman's camera by an EMT. Uh, Keene, uh, city of Keene, um, emergency medical person, uh, grabbed Ian Freeman's camera from him when he was trying to take his picture. And that was caught on video, and so there was, you know, there was a lot of controversy over that. Uh, most of the city councilors appeared not to have heard of it, uh, or they'd heard of it, and hadn't yet seen the video. Uh, so I got, you, you'll see me trying to interview <laughs> multiple city councilors, and the mayor just refuses to talk to me, so we'll, we'll see that. Um, and then the last piece of news, uh, 420 celebrations continued as normal in Keene, uh, with the turnout of about 20 today. They were again left alone by the authorities and were joined um, by, uh, well not joined, but they shared the square uh, with um, about, a, you know, it's about 10 uh, health care reform demonstrators, and that was all very peaceful, and that's what the Central Square is for. Um, that's about all I can think of. I'm probably missing something, uh, but there you have it. I'm visiting Keene, obviously, and that's what I've got to report from here. It's Dave Ridley signing off for RidleyReport.com. Uh, of course, brought to you by FreeKeene.com. If you uh, wish to be part of the uh, libertarian civil disobedience movement, this is the best place to do it because this is the epicenter of libertarian civil disobedience. It's also the city in America that has the most pro-liberty media are the most pro-liberty media outlets. They really, again, setting off for the report.com, sponsored by freeking.com.